One question that I've been asked a thousand times uh, for the Focus ST is, do you run a catch can system? The answer is no. Um, and the other question I get is, do you think it's worth it? Uh, today I have absolute proof of if it's worth it or not. Well, not proof, but more so you can make the decision. Um, so Brad here runs a catch can system on his 2015 ST. He also has an ST3. Uh, which system do you have? Uh, it's the JLT. JLT catch can system. Right here. So there, oh, that's really clean how that fits. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. So you have about 5,000 miles use out of this, right? Roughly. Okay. Yes. So after those 5,000 miles, here is all of the oil that the catch can system has gathered. I mean, that's a pretty significant amount that would otherwise be sitting on your your valves, right? Yeah, I mean, it's basically just oil and gas mixed together. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it'll look a little white, uh, sort of pasty color. Um, but yeah, uh, it would usually just recirculate back up onto the valves, and then when the car cools off, they just kind of it just kind of hardens on top, and, right. and that's what the gunk buildup that everyone's worried about with these GTDI engines. Exactly. Um, so I'm just gonna pull this sucker off, and you guys can just see what is collected in the last I don't know about thousand miles or so. And that was easy. Maybe less. That was a clean. That's crazy. Yeah. I usually just leave it here for a minute or two. Yeah. Let it drain. To answer your question, is it worth it? After seeing this, I'd say yes. <laughs> I mean, that's that's my opinion on it. I, um, it's made a huge difference. Um, I checked the valves again uh, last time I changed the oil, and the buildup on it was significantly less. Really? Over the over. The and you've done time. walnut blasting twice. Really? Yeah. Wow. I actually have a, a, a media kit. It's up on the shelf over there. Okay. Um, but it it's. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, it's it's pretty safe. Um, just got to make sure the valves are closed when you go in there to blast them and get them as clean as possible. And um, the last time I did it, I decided to install the catch can along with it, and mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's, it's clearly a huge it's, it's doing something. I mean, that's nuts. And I actually get a lot less engine knock um, with it in line too, because there's a so lot less. You can less see that on your vapor. readings. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, less negative corrections. Hmm. Um, and it's mainly just because of the the. The oil that would normally be, uh, the vapor that would normally be recirculating back in there is just, it's basically stopping it. So it's just a lot cleaner burn. You get less um, oil vapor mixed with the fuel, that kind of thing. Hmm. Um, and it just, yeah, it's made a huge difference for me. So. so where did these, where did you pull these from? So there's There's the... a PCV, there's a block, there's one goes into the block. Okay. Um, and then one goes into the back of the uh, intake manifold. Okay. Um, and so basically everything that would normally be going back up into the intake is coming back down and being filtered through the catch can first and then being recirculated back up into the engine. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. It's really clean. I love how it looks too. Yeah. It was, I guess the, the way they manufactured it, they wanted it to be um, somewhat OEM looking, yeah. I guess you could say. So. Cool. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, so thank you for that information. I know you guys have been asking that. I, I just didn't have an answer. I don't have experience with it, and I don't really like to speak to something that I, I don't know a lot about. So that's a perfect answer. The end. The end. <laughs> yeah. Get a catch can. Yeah, get a catch can. <laughs> and let's just take a look at his wheels again. I know I've showed these before in a video, but just beautiful finish, like a bronze finish. Pilot Sport four tires look really nice. Cars are extremely clean, magnetic gray. Yeah, he's done a nice job with this car. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, obviously this is my Focus ST. This is Bradley's Focus ST, and that's kind of what I do a lot of my videos on. That's what I <laughs> focus on. Uh, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, mainly what I do is videos on my Focus ST, car reviews, car news, things like that. Um, Bradley helped me out today with a couple things, so subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and if you're still with me in the video, go ahead and drop a like on it, it always helps me out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.